Hey, it's Mike Thomas. I want to talk about polyphasic sleep. I don't want to try and convince you that it can or can't work. I just want to contribute to the discussion and share some of my philosophies and ideas with you. So I tried the Uberman and the Everyman schedule a couple of years ago. I made some videos about it. I found it very difficult to stay on those schedules. Back then, I was approaching life from there being a lack of time. Now, I don't go into it believing that there's a lack of time. For me right now, it's more about energy, vitality, passion, being so excited about life that I naturally find myself waking up in the middle of the night and I'm alert, I'm switched on and I'm ready to go. So when I started, like when I let go of the belief that there's a lack of time and I approached it from this way, I started to relax a little bit more. I was listening to my circadian rhythm and I felt really rested when I woke up and ready to go. And I love that. I love the feeling of being rested. So now I rest when I need rest and when I'm alert, I'm awake and I'm doing things. I tend to sleep more in winter and I sleep less in summer naturally. But even though I'm saying this, I'm still excited about polyphasic sleep. I can remember on the Uberman schedule where I was on two hours sleep and on day two, I felt great. It was 8 p.m., it was the middle of the summer and I'm walking the dog at 8 p.m. It's a beautiful day, a blue sky and I'm thinking to myself, wow, I'm gonna get 20 minutes sleeping a bit and then I've got four hours in the middle of the night to do what I wanna do. It's a fantastic feeling. You know, some things in life, whilst you're doing it, it's kind of painful, but when you look back, it's really hilarious. On day three and day four, I totally collapsed. I couldn't stay awake. The only way to stay awake was to go for a walk. But when you look back on it, it's hilarious. So I don't wanna put you off your game. If you're in the middle of a schedule, God bless you, hope it goes well for you. Because like the reason why this isn't a, a typical downer video. You see these videos of people who sometimes they've not even tried the schedule but they're spouting all this stuff about how you need eight hours sleep and blah de blah. It really, like the whole eight hours sleep thing. A lot of us, we do need eight hours sleep, okay? But there are a small minority that don't need it. They do perfectly well on four hours and I think they may have even identified the gene that is responsible for that. Now, when it comes to genes, I've been reading this guy, Bruce Lipton. He's written this book, The, Bi the Biology of Belief, and it's all about how beliefs turn genes on and off. So what if you believed that there wasn't a lack of time and that you were bursting with energy and you can't wait to wake up? What if you believed that? Would you then switch on the gene that would mean that your physical vessel doesn't need eight hours sleep? Food for thought. So I enjoy Qigong and so my philosophy is, my hypothesis is that when you're doing Qigong exercises looking after yourself, drinking plenty of water, that you'll find that you'll have more energy. So I'll tell you how that goes because this is a work in progress. I'm a work in progress, okay? I've not got there yet and I don't wanna get there because the joy is in the journey, being present. As I say, it's more about energy and vitality. So, I'm, I guess you could say, I'm a free runner, meaning I sleep when I'm tired and when I'm alert, I'm awake and I'm doing stuff. So that would be my tip is to look at your approach to time and if you're making it about time and there being a lack of time, 
I would investigate that. So I'll leave it there rather than ramble on further. I think a lot of people, they just wanted to know what my schedule was, if any. And, and so right now I'm listening to my circadian rhythm and I'm loving it. And it's winter, so I'm sleeping more. Um, one thing I did invest in is I got one of those lights that gets progressively brighter and brighter. And what I do is I set that for about half 6 a.m. And it's a real nice way to wake up. Your brain slowly secretes serotonin and you become alert and ready. So I don't allow myself to completely just wake up when I've finished having sleep because otherwise I would probably sleep till half eight because it's very dark here in the UK. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to stop there. Hope you got something from this video and I'll catch you hopefully next Sunday. Have a fantastic new year. Abundance, abundance of time, abundance of energy. Having beliefs that work for us and letting go, letting go of the beliefs that don't work for us. That's what it's about. I'll catch you later. Take care of yourself. Peace.